What's going on, everyone? Toshi here. So we got the roadmap for February of Artemis Gear Fusion, and um, it should be juicy. Now I don't know anything about it, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys. All right, um, I said before that I will be playing, and this may or may not be the last Artemis Gear Fusion video for a while. Um, I still enjoy this game. I still play it. I, st I think one of the things I really enjoy the most about this game, and I really hit home on this in every single pretty much every single video we upload is the characters i think the characters in this game are phenomenal and that's why I, it pains me to to say things i say because they're so hard to get but they're awesome and i love the character designs but i really don't see myself quitting this game any like like legitimately quitting um i don't know if i'm going to cover it as much as i'll be covering like honkai star rail course um but that just goes without saying. Anyways, it's not really important, but that's for the people that, you know, regularly tune in to the channel. Anyways, let's get into the roadmap. So here we have World of Union. We have a picture of Neo. Um, I don't know this character. And then we have uh, May, the bunny, right? May Bunny, which is a supporter. And then we have uh, Rella, which is another supporter. Is this another? A third supporter? I could be wrong, but I know these two are definitely supporters. And, and they look great. Um, Looks like they're having some sort of, like, celebration of some sorts a wedding have you so i don't know we'll see what it is we go down here we have a new event sand away um i'm guessing this is a new character from the looks of it i did see this on someone's like uh youtube before i don't know what it is <laughs> what is it yeah it's a character but i don't know like what character this is or what relation they have to the actual game itself the story the lore and uh so on and so forth but um looks pretty interesting she has like a giant claw and that looks like she's ready to tear apart her uh, opponents right scroll down here and then we have academy festival party now you know toshi is when it comes to nina skins and i think the nina skin looks really nice so we have nina we have erica and we have another unit i don't know who this is by heart um if you know this this is definitely let me know but uh, all of them look great. Like I said before, the characters in this game look phenomenal. The, the, the arts, the arts, like the skins, look phenomenal. I have no issue. I'd say this is probably the my favorite art any game I've played thus far. Ark Knights is up there too, which I just started playing. And it was just, let's just keep going, right? Pretty nice though. Academy Festival Party. Um, we did see the skin before. Um, and we kind of knew it was coming, right? And then the Erica one I is going to be free. They look great. We just did a video on Erica. I think Erica's a... She's not a good DPS. <laughs> okay, and then we have the all-out battle. So this is going to be an update to that. So you remember we have the uh, ultimate arena now. Uh, this is going to be an update to that ultimate arena. So it should be interesting. It looks like it's going to be a new boss. Finally, we've had the same boss for a very long time now. And uh, this should definitely shake up the ultimate arena meta. The only the whales care about. <laughs> Target elimination. Wow. Okay, so we have a new target elimination. That's actually interesting. So that means we'll have new gears to farm. I'm hoping they add like a penetration set. That'd be very nice for single target DPS. I, I think we desperately need something for our single target DPS. Because as of right now, I think the bruiser meta is kind of stale. Um, I, I would like to see Sirius actually make a return. Be able to take advantage of this of the pen set. Right? 15% uh, damage ignore defense would be nice on her uh, single target attacks i think she desperately needs it to actually you know uh, she's still an amazing character whenever you can use her but it's definitely hard to use a lot of those single target dps right i think aoe dps are straight up broken madoka sakabula um isabel with other units right but pretty nice hopefully they add that and something else juicy right now we have some exclusive armaments we have one for rella rella is going to be that uh five star we showed up earlier the red haired one we'll, we'll see her down here um phantom has a ue now which is interesting i wonder what it does and then cindy has a ue um oh god the cindy colt <laughs> that's nice though so we have hound rella and then we have storm and thunder fady so i don't know what fady does but i do know what uh rella does and then rella is pretty strong right so we'll get down to it we have the skins here uh the one for nina erica and then uh wait who's this one okay that's grace and then this is uh, phoebe these are not going to be free the air the neat the <laughs> the erica one is probably going to be free and uh, nina's one is probably going to be paid i gotta say though all these skins look great i mean like god damn dude <laughs> 
these are some very very like they know how to attract their their cougars right and i'm one of them and then we, here we have uh erica school uniform pretty nice this will probably be free as well you know now that i think about it the erica skin might not be free if they're giving away this uh erica school uniform so we should see we got some new uh, new rewards login rewards um i'm guessing there's gonna be some skin tickets involved hopefully do what they've done in the past with other uh you know skin skins that they add in the game right where they give us you know skin tickets for completing each one that would be 40 there which would be very nice would help a lot of players out and then give additional skin tickets here would be phenomenal i think they should always give enough to either be able to pity one every other um rotation for skins that'd be very very nice for free players i think that's the bare minimum they have to do and then rela here outfit um this looks very 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 um this looks like when you load into Fortnite and the game, like the map hasn't been like, it hasn't been like, like registered yet. Right. So everything looks like th th 360p. This is what the skin looks like for Rella. Yeah, the 360p version. Nice. And then Fueli, um, assist spider. So overall, um, they did not show the characters here. But we, we honestly could take a look at Rella really quickly and Fighty and see what they do. And that's pretty much the end of the roadmap here, um, as far as I know. So first up, we'll go over Fighty here. Let me zoom in. She's a Assault Crystal, so green DPS unit. You go down here. So the S1 is a single target attack. Um, increased damage by 0.075% of speed. So you're going to want to build her with a lot of speed, it seems. And then uh, she has a 35% chance to use swift shadow strike is additional attack can't trigger another one okay um i'm not a fan of 35 percent, so maybe somewhere in her kit increases that as high as possible i just don't like rng we go down here uh 68.9 percent to to damage uh those damage that to all enemy targets and increase damage by uh 0.05 percent of her speed so 70 percent chance to dispel two buffs of all enemies and grant self buff for two rounds if enemy has a barrier, all allies gain speed buff for two rounds, and and the this spell ignores target resistance. Okay, so right off the bat, this is going to hurt a lot of teams that use that one unit. In my mind, I'm going to I can show it right now. So Lara, Lara is going to suffer whenever Fighty does come out because if you guys did not know, Lara actually gives a barrier to the whole team at the start of the battle, and. Uh, being able to to dispel this like barrier and give all allies a speed buff and deal damage is going to hurt you know a lot of teams that use laro especially with laro being a blue character yikes and then her active or passive skill um that was her s3 up here and her passive skill uh deals 160 percent damage to a single enemy target penetrates 50 percent of the target's defense and increases damage by 0.1 percent per one point of speed Ignoring damage sharing effects, okay, that's going to really hurt Jesse. Um, gains extra turn when killing target. If the target has a barrier, penetrate hundred percent of the. Oh my god! Well, I did say, hey, we need more characters that penetrate defense, and here we go. We have another one. <laughs> Accuracy of this attack is increased, but what the heck, man? This is this is pretty destructive. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty strong. Um, this is a clear sign of power creep, man. So personally, um, I, I think she's going to be really strong. Penetrating defense and increases the accuracy of an attack is pretty dang strong. Um, by accuracy, they mean if you hit a red unit, you're going to land pretty much with a green typing. So yeah, this, this is just pretty strong. I don't know. I, I I don't think like it is a single target attack, right? And for what it's worth, the problem is it's like it just does so much. Like it, you you know it's gonna do a lot of damage because it penetrates the defense. Um, and she gets an extra turn when killing the target, and the accuracies increase by fifty. So it's, it's pretty strong. Um, man, 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 man. But this does remind me of, if you know, Operator Cigarette from Epic 7, this is pretty much her, her S2, right? And then we have Rella. Rella is a Assault Crystal, so Assault Green Unit. I thought she was going to be red, 
Um, her being green is kind of wonky, especially with another green unit, uh, Fighty. Um, but hey, we'll, we'll take more green units. S and PvE and PvP. Let's see what she does. Single target attack gives her self speed buff. 35% chance to use self probably guided missile fall attack. Uh, it's literally the same uh, ability as Fighty. I'm not a fan of 35%. Like I said, I don't like RNG. However, this is increased to by 15, so it's a 50% chance. But still, man, if you don't hit that, you're going to feel really bad. Okay, the S2 here. Um, Self-guided, self-propelled guided missiles. 95% damage to a single enemy target. Damage increased by 10% for every 200 defense of the target. Target's defense is higher than 1,000. Damage increased doubled for every 200 defense oh my god that's insane uses self-propelled guided missiles for follow-up and counter-attacks after any three rounds use so here's the thing right defense is dead <laughs> let's just be honest defense is dead um i think a lot of people honestly swapped over to having a lot more hp i've been seeing a lot of very super high tanky hp resistance almas and i think that works pretty well um I think having defense on your character is a hindrance at this point. I don't think you should be building your characters with defense anymore. Um, it, it, it's just... You're going to hurt yourself more than you do. There's a lot of targets or enemies that um, you know ignore defense. There's a lot of enemies that, you know, like I said, penetrate and ignore. So it's like defense is a hindrance at this point. Having more HP is probably better. You just fall victim to, you know, units that are like... I mean, there's nothing really stopping, you know, you from building a lot of HP on your bruisers, though. So, at least I, I can think of the top of my head. I'm, I'm, in my mind, I'm thinking, like, um, Mommy to Mo, but, like, that's only against, like, Jessies and stuff. 106% damage to a single enemy target. Penetrate 40% of the defense. For every 300 defense of the target, increase penetration by 10% to 100%. She kills target. Cause core break and core break is wait, what's core break? They didn't say it here. Uh, I don't know what core break is. Um, I have no idea, but anything that penetrates target defense is always going to do a lot, like it's just going to be really good. And it is a single target attack. She has a UE here. Um, okay, so this is core break, I'm guessing. So whenever the S3 kills a target, deals 85% additional damage to enemy targets that penetrate. Holy moly. So think of this like um, if you played Epic 7, right? To give it as uh, Charlotte S3, um, Light Charlotte, what is her name? Um, Little Queen Charlotte. Think of her S3. Whenever she kills the target, she deals like massive AoE damage. Um, that's pretty much what this is going to be. It's pretty nasty. Increases the counter attack, dual attack, and supporting attack damage by 20%. Woo! You see that rating went up with the UE. Kind of nasty. But anyways, that's it for me here. Thank you all for watching. And let me know what you're most excited for upcoming in the February roadmap. Personally, I'm looking forward to the skins. That's like, I think Erica's looks really great. Anyways, that's it. I'm done cooming. Thank you for watching and have a nice rest of your day. Peace.